The nomination of a new Supreme Court justice is usually a solemn affair, conducted with a somber gravity that reflects the spirit of the nation's highest court. But in announcing his first pick, President Donald Trump did things a bit differently. Adam Riley has more. If there was any doubt that Donald Trump's presidency would feature a heaping helping of show business, it was dispelled right after the election. Who does it, Don King? It's just great to be an American. But with all due respect to Don King, Kanye West, and that singing cowboy who hung around Trump Tower, Trump's reinvention of the presidency as its own reality TV show just reached new heights. The Supreme Court, the next justice. Trump's primetime Supreme Court announcement got moved up two days shifting attention from the backlash to his travel ban. After Trump set the schedule, the networks did the rest. The teleprompter said it says remarks for SCOTUS were prepared for them to scroll up and make this big reveal. The president of the United States has just been introduced. He's walking in uh, the East Room. Then, after announcing Neil Gorsuch as his nominee, the president offered a final embellishment of his own. So was that a surprise, was it? And if SCOTUS, the next generation, left you hankering for even more polytainment, the president provided it this week, invoking the subpar ratings of the new Arnold Schwarzenegger-led apprentice at the National Prayer Breakfast. And I want to just pray for Arnold, if we can, for those ratings, okay? Which prompted this retort from the bodybuilder turned movie star turned former governor of California. Why don't we switch jobs? You take over TV because you're such an expert in ratings, and I take over your job, and then people can finally sleep comfortably again. Hmm? Not everyone likes this reframing of the presidency as a nonstop media spectacle. We're not in a reality show. We are now. And Adam only limited his new reality show to Donald Trump because if he had expanded it a little bit, let's say to include Kellyanne Conway, we would have heard about how there was a massacre in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Mm -hmm. But, of course, that didn't exist. But, you know, that, that's her alternate facts. But... That's really, I mean, this has become the way this is going, the, the rollouts like the Supreme Court justice, I think we can anticipate seeing more and more. That was actually quite effective. It was at 8 o'clock at night. I mean, I was riveted to it, having to be home and watch the whole thing. I mean, it's, it's, it's uh, the administration as, as a spectacle. Celebrity Supreme Court apprentice. I yeah. was hoping he was going to bring out both finalists and then fire one of them. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, I think that I actually think it would be a little bit endearing if everything else wasn't such a dumpster fire uh, involving what the Trump administration is up to right now. I mean, as you said, we've got Kellyanne Conway coming up with a massacre that never happened and uh, continued fallout from the immigration order. Uh, it's on and on and on. And uh, his, his approval ratings are very low. And so, you know, this was an okay moment for him. It was probably the best moment mm. of his very young presidency so far, but there certainly haven't been many others. I wasn't, you know, I knew he was doing all that, and that didn't draw me. I did watch it the next day, the excerpts. I found it interesting, and that was fine. Somebody didn't tell Louise to come out on time, so he had to mm. call her twice. So there was that. What really would have made it good is that maybe he had given Thomas Hardiman and Neil Gorsuch a kind of a court off right yeah, in front exactly. of us. Yeah, exactly. We were kind of hoping for that. You know, something like that. But short of that, if he had uh, Frederick Douglass come out and introduce him, <laughs> well, he, we would have really well, he been. Well, Frederick Douglass is still alive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's pretty course. busy these yeah, days. Yeah, I know. So. You know. He's doing so much. But anyway, so, you know, I don't, um, that's okay. If you, if people are interested in a civic uh, engagement like this, I'm, but that's I'm not all right with that. I know that's not why he did yeah. it, but you know, if that gets people looking yeah. and maybe paying attention to some of the credentials, okay. <laughs> I mean, of all the things that, that he could have decided to amp up, a, a Supreme Court appointment is legitimately a very big deal. And really, the only significant shift in, in a certain sense was the timing. This would have been a, normally a Rose Garden announcement yeah. during the day, and uh, he pushed it into the evening, which is very smart. It, you know, presidents, each generation learns new ways to sort of gather the, the nation's attention and direct it in new ways. What he's been remarkable at is doing it in such a rapid-fire pace that I think it's almost impossible for any one story to settle in in the American consciousness mm -hmm. because next thing you know, there's something else five minutes later, ten minutes later, an hour later. 
the, the other thing that was interesting about the, the rollout of the Supreme Court justice was that the White House apparently leaked out word that the other, the, the Hardiman, the, yes. the runner-up, was He's actually there. was there, which yeah. was never true. Yeah. And the White House knew this for hours yeah. uh, after it was being reported because of White House leaks and chose not to correct it. So that, that was one indication of the kind of artifice that they're willing to create mm -hmm. and then allow to exist. Because then they can go back and say, well, look, the press got that one wrong, yeah, even yeah. though they were the ones who put it there. Yeah, that, that seems a little bit tacky, but I agree with you and Kelly on this one. Uh, I think this is well within the flow of what other presidents have done. Don't forget, President Obama, wasn't it at his second uh, convention, mm -hmm. accepted the nomination on a stage with gigantic Greek pillars? Mm -hmm. You know, what was that if not flamboyant stagecraft designed to create a, a certain kind of image? So uh, also by doing it at night, bigger audience for it and uh, sort of less time for the critics to uh, jump on this newly prepared uh, leg of lamb and, and strip all the meat off the bones. Uh, at least they had to stay up late if they wanted to do it. Uh, so, you know, one thing we have to say about this president is that he understands how the media works, how the news cycle works, but, and but how to on. turn it to his own ends. Turning that prayer breakfast oh, a day or two that, later in, yeah. into an assault yeah. on Arnold Schwarzenegger. Is that what that audience wanted to hear? No. No. That was so inappropriate. Talk about tacky. No, that was just so inappropriate. But see, was, this, my point yeah. is, it, all no. of these things are about him. He wasn't doing it to no. enlighten the American no. public and rolling out you know, Neil Gorsuch at 8 o'clock. He was doing it yeah. to promote him and, to say that his ratings are better. But right? he doesn't right. care about yeah. who the audience is in That's the room. True. It's the audience no, I mean, the at the audience, other end of the camera. No, it, it, it didn't work on any level. That's yeah. why I said I thought the Supreme Court rollout was fine, but I think it was really the only good moment of his presidency. I will say so I did see a few people on social media saying that uh, it, 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 to the extent that the Schwarzenegger comment sort of poked a pin into the pomposity of the National Prayer Breakfast, there's some people who thought that wasn't such a bad thing. <laughs> well, but. you shouldn't have gone if there was such a pomposity of a National Prayer Breakfast. Mm -hmm. Why go in the first place? Exactly. You're going to yes. make fun of it. You know? <clears throat> and, and, and what about the poor staff? Somebody's got to be preparing him, and he's just throwing away whatever the preparation was along the way. Who do you I, think is leaking so. like a sieve? Yeah. Well, that's oh, true. He's yeah. going to yeah. find out who's leaking that. Yeah. Yeah. Stuff too. That's for sure. That's well, there's so many at yeah. this moment yeah. who, who could say. Yeah. But I mean, what? What? I have no sense that he will sit down and be prepared. No, or, I, no I, I understand. I think he's that. just That's why it. the whole thing with Frederick Douglass. He didn't know who that was. Well, no, no, he glanced down at the paper. If you yeah. watch it, he glanced down. He saw the name. And he said, "Oh yeah, I'm supposed to mention him." And he so, said, "You'll be hearing <laughs> a lot more good things about him." I know. Yeah. But on so, Delmarosa. Yeah, exactly. <laughs>